basketball player and just really given me a lot of opportunities and success that I was never really expecting. She can't leave her that open. She knocked it down. The right side, still outside the arc, Courtney Woods. Woods looked to pull the trigger, instead's going to step inside, oh, just kind of lifting shots. that thing up. And First memory of basketball is that I had a indoor hoop. It was probably like four feet tall, and then I had like a sponge basketball. And I would have been like three or four, and I just remember like being inside and playing with my brother and like with my parents. Like obviously I was tiny. And then I had an outdoor hoop eventually, and it would just be in the backyard, and we would just always be shooting on it. My whole family would always be out there. Both my parents played and my brother and sister were very competitive, so I was always the youngest. I always knew my mom was very talented, obviously from like all of her friends, like my dad, like every like it was kind of common knowledge my mom was a great player. It really was kind of an advantage towards the end because obviously my mom had been through it, like we were very similar players as well. So I think kinda of once I got to college, people started telling me her stats low Sanders, she was like a twelve hundred point scorer and she was like Pretty much a pure shooter before the three-point line was even invented. And it's kind of weird to think like you kind of think your mom's like always been your mom. Like you never really think about what it was like when she was 18 to 22. So like putting her in my shoes, it was kind of cool to realize how good she was. I got really lucky. So uh, NIU wouldn't. So I was under the previous coaching staff. So NIU wasn't going to offer me an official originally because they only give them to players they've seen in person, so obviously they hadn't seen me play. And then I was visiting a school in like Buffalo, and I had a day before I was gonna visit the next school, and then NIU contacted me and they said, just come for a visit, like check it out, see what happens. So pretty much I planned the official visit the day before. So then I came into the campus, I loved it, loved the players, loved the gym, loved the atmosphere. So I was on campus for my official visit probably three hours. I flew in, saw the campus and left, and then from that little snippet into this like world, I was like, yeah, that's the school I want to go to. I didn't get the opportunity to recruit her, but she was a freshman my first year here. Um, and when you look at the evolution of Courtney's game, I think obviously she fits really well into what we're trying to do. You know, somebody who can shoot the ball uh, at a high rate and high efficiency. Left side, that one is good. Six straight for NIU. To see the growth that's taken place for her in so many different areas is always fun. You know, sometimes in coaching, that's the most rewarding is to see what happens when freshmen walk in the door and then to see uh, where they're at when they leave the institution. And I think Courtney's a perfect example of that. The biggest part of it is that you go from being like completely healthy, in season, in shape, at the top of your game or whatever, and then like 24 hours later, like your season's done. So just kind of going from like the highest of highs to the lowest of lows, and your whole team has to keep moving forward. And I think I don't think many people get hurt during their senior season, so that was kind of like an added part to it that I had so many expectations for that year on myself, for my team, and to just have it kind of hit pause for like eight months. So yeah, it was hard. You know, anytime you have such a, an injury like that, for anybody, it, it can be um, obviously pretty life-changing. You know, for a basketball player to have it taken away so suddenly. I think Courtney probably handled it the best way she could. I think she used it as an opportunity and really have a better understanding of the game. It's an opportunity to see the game much differently from the bench than it is when you're in the moment. And so I think because of that, that has made her so much better at some of the other aspects. It was so many like little battles within one big battle. So like you were trying to get off crutches, you were trying to get out of your brace, and then once you get out of your brace, you're trying to be able to walk again and then you're trying to run and then you're trying to jump. And so it's kind of like once you would get a little milestone, it's like, okay, well, I have so much left. It was just such a long process, so many little parts of it. It's exciting because now I'm at the point where it's all about basketball again. From a maturity standpoint, um, obviously her game has evolved and everybody can see that. But just the person that she's become uh, it is really something special and I do think it puts her in a position to have success way beyond NIU and I'm really proud of her for that.
Coach always says like if the only thing she's done for us is to make us better basketball players and she didn't do her job and then the coaches and my teammates have really made me a better person, made me a better basketball player. So I'm very thankful for this place. I think it'll hold a place in my heart forever because it really did change me as a person.